Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create a horizontal bullet graph. Now this is an example of our horizontal bullet graph and in a pre previous video I showed an example how to create a vertical bullet graph. Now the bullet graph is something that is, was made popular by uh, visualization expert Stephen Few and in the other video I had we went through the steps to creating this particular graph. Now there are ways that you can create a horizontal bullet graph with uh, different steps and if you google uh, for a horizontal bullet graph you'll probably pull up John Pelletier's, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, his steps. But uh, I, I like this easier step here, it's a little bit more of a hack but it provides an easier way to create a horizontal bullet graph. Now I'll go ahead and go through it. Let's go ahead to sheet 2 and what I did was I've already created the vertical bullet graph and I'll just go through the steps of creating the horizontal bullet graph. So if you wanted to see how to create the vertical bullet graph I'll have links to the video and you can check that out. But in this example let's say that we already have the vertical bullet graph laid out. So what we want to do to create a horizontal bullet graph is basically make a copy of this vertical bullet graph and do a paste picture link. So it's a paste special type of function. And before that we have to do a little bit of the formatting on the axis, the vertical and horizontal axis, and also the legend. So what we need to do is take the area where the chart is laid out on and basically kind of overlay it. See these cells here? We'll kind of select those cells that are behind this chart. And what we're going to do is right click and go under format cells and make those the borders those these line colors make them a white color so I'll select that and now I'm gonna select the outline and the inside so now you see that they're selected here click OK and if I deselect those cells you can see that the borders or the cell colors are white so it looks like it's floating on top of white space now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that area again and go ahead and click copy and just select this out here and click paste linked picture. So what I'm going to do is click this paste linked picture and what it has done is basically it is pasted a copy of this picture and so now it, when you make any adjustments here it will reflect automatically here. So this, basically this is just a picture of this and what I can do with the picture is I can orient that, orient this to make it or reorient it to make it horizontal. So now you see that it's horizontal. Now some of the things that we need to adjust of course are the axis. So if I go back here and adjust the axis, I select here on the x-axis and right click and go into format axis and I want to go to alignment and I want to click the direction. I want to make this rotate all text 270. So what it's going to do, it, it's going to rotate it 270 degrees and do the same here. Go and select that. You see this the Y axis is selected. Right click, go under format axis, and under alignment, the same thing. I want to make it rotate 270. Okay, close. And now I've got these laid out here. And what I want to do is maybe reorient this a little bit. So I'm going to go and select the legend, or I can just go out here and go to chart tools, layout, go to legend and I'm going to have the legend show up on the top. So once I have it show up on the top you can see it, it this is okay but I mean um, this is a, probably the best that we can do so right here we can probably have it spread out a little bit more and you can see now it's all kind of like one line instead of two so so this is a an example and you can, if you want to do any minor adjustments, you can do that. And that's our example of how to create a horizontal uh, bullet graph out of a vertical one. Um, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.